We have a prize seat in the front row. If I could induce someone to come on up. Uh, <clears throat> uh, good evening and welcome. I'm Warren Hogue, IPI's Senior Advisor for External Relations, and I'm happy to welcome you to this Distinguished Author Series event featuring Sayed Hossein Mousavian, the author of Iran and the United States, an insider's view on the failed past and the road to peace. As you can see from his biography, Hossein is indeed a verified insider when it comes to such critical things as the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Iran's disputed nuclear program, its continually conflicted relationship with the United States, and his own close personal association over the years with the two principals on the Iranian side in the current nuclear negotiations, President Hassan Rouhani and Foreign Minister Javad Zarif. This makes Hossein a perfect guest for IPI tonight because this is a tantalizing moment in the history of relations between Iran and the United States, the subject of his book. The two countries have been sworn enemies for the past 35 years, but as many people, including notably Henry Kissinger, have pointed out, they are also two countries that have much in common, tremendous influence, and some parallel interests despite their profound differences. The current round of talks between the P5 plus one and Iran began with the preliminary agreement reached in November in which Iran froze its nuclear program and diluted some of its most potent uranium fuel in return for several billion dollars in sanctions relief. The deadline for the agreement is July 20th, a little more than three weeks from now, though there is an allowance for up to six months more if they don't meet the July date. Though there are still significant outstanding disagreements over the details of an accord, there has been uninterrupted progress in achieving confidence building measures since November, and there is intense interest on both sides in trying to make the date. Now, of great significance is that the presidents of both countries both want this deal. And they both know that there are powerful opponents to the agreement in each of their countries who will take advantage of any delay to ratchet up their opposition to it. Now, it is not an objective of the nuclear talks to settle the very real differences between the US and Iran. The purpose at the moment is to quarantine the talks around the sole issue of the nuclear program and achieve agreement there. Now, if that should happen, one can imagine a situation where the US and Iran cease being implacable enemies and instead become rivals, intense rivals, who may be able to cooperate on issues where competing national interests converge. The common analogies being invoked are the US and China and the US and Russia. That's why I use the word tantalizing at the outset. This relationship has been marked by deep and recurring distrust on both sides, and the result has been a breakdown in relations between the United <clears throat> States and Iran that has lasted longer than the breakdown between China and the US did. Building trust is elusive, particularly if one side doesn't understand what the other side thinks and why it does. That is the value of this book. And I can think of no better person to explain the Iranian viewpoint to a Western audience than Hossein Mousavian, who not only was at the center of so many events that propelled the breakdown, 
but who did his undergraduate studies in this country and who for the past five years has been doing research and teaching at Princeton and track to diplomacy between Iran and the United States. I can highly recommend his book, and it is for sale at the door. And I should tell you it's proved to be so popular that we've had to send out just now to the publisher uh, to get some more in. <laughs> and uh, Hossein will linker uh, a bit at the end to sign copies and chat with you. Uh, Hossein was here two years ago to discuss his first book, and I'm delighted to have him back at IPI, particularly, as I have said, at this potentially propitious moment for our two countries. Hossein, welcome, and the floor is yours. Thank you. First of all, I would like to extend my gratitude to Warren and his colleagues at IPI uh, arranging this event. As you know, uh, I came to U.S. mid-1970s and left the U.S. just some months, some weeks before uh, the victory of Islamic Revolution 1979. And I came back again 2009, actually 30 years later. In these three decades, uh, I had an opportunity to be engaged in uh, major events and occasions related to problems between Iran and the West, from hostage taking crisis in Lebanon 1988, 1989, to uh, Afghanistan crisis, uh, Salman Rushdie fatwa against Salman Rushdie, nuclear crisis, different administrations, different periods, working in parliament, in National Security Council, in foreign ministry. Uh, most of the time I, uh, I spent on uh, problems, relations between Iran and the West. I was seven years in Germany as ambassador, and it gave me an great a great opportunity to discuss with Europeans. That time we had critical dialogues. The differences on human rights, on terrorism, on weapons of mass destruction, on peace process, Israel, Hezbollah, all of the issues with the Europeans. Uh, officially, unofficially, with journalists, scholars, officials, and when I came back 2009 to the U.S., it was completely different because I didn't have official hat, access to uh, uh, tens or hundreds of uh, American foreign policy experts, think tanks, journalists, to sit with them and to discuss very, very openly, sincerely, frankly, the, the disputes, problems between Iran and the U.S. Uh, definitely, these four or five years gave me great understanding about the American perception, how Americans view the uh, Iranians, Iranian policy, Iranian foreign policy making system, and uh, the disputes between Iran and the U.S. In this period, uh, it, it, it was very clear for me uh, there is a big gap uh, on correct understanding of Iran. And I rarely could find a foreign policy expert in the US with correct understanding of Iran. Of course, uh, uh, no one can blame anyone because first of all, we have had no relation during uh, 35 years. And there has been no exchange between scholars, journalists, and uh, uh, academics, uh, Iranians and Americans. That's why uh, I felt I'm perhaps in a unique position knowing the U.S. living uh, about nine years in the U.S. Uh, over three decades uh, in Iranian policy-making system to uh, write a book about the uh, relation between Iran and the U.S. Uh, Tehran and Washington have uh, experienced uh, one of the most 
dysfunctional relations, if not the most 